What's going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another episode of the Sault Ste. Marie Snow Franchise Mode for NHL 22. If you haven't already, scroll down, hit that like button, in this one, we are going to be continuing on where we left off in the last episode, where we decided we were going to actually play through the entire final season of the Sault Ste. Marie Snow Franchise Mode. I got a bunch of comments from people saying things like, I really like this a whole lot better, I'm a lot more invested in this team now, so you know what, for uh, NHL 23, I think mayhap we might just start this way, but we'll try and get through it a lot quicker than we are this year, there is a siren going off right outside my office window, <laughs> but very quickly, I do want to look at this team and see if there's any like shortcomings, I know we're only six games into the season, but I did want to look and see, I mean, like Cody Glass, man. Cody Glass has been unbelievable. And he's playing crazy minutes for a 32-year-old man. He's, play, he's playing like 24 minutes a night. So I wanted to go down here. Uh, PLD, he's only playing 15 minutes a night. And something tells me he is on the second line, or did I end up putting him on the third? I'm not sure. He's 33 years old. That's the thing, right? But uh, I do I do expect a little bit more from him. Four points, I know, but he hasn't gotten any goals yet, and I'm not overly nuts about that. Dawson Mercer is a big one. I expect big things from Dawson Mercer, and I'm really not seeing him. He's not shooting. He's not shooting at uh, 10% like most of his other teammates are. I mean, a lot of other people have been fine. Sergachev, you expect a lot more from Mikhail Sergachev. I mean, basically being your number one defenseman for the last 7,000 years. But Provorov has done a pretty good job of taking over that spot. And I think one of the only minuses on this team would be Shea Theodore with one assist. But he is 36 years old. You know what I mean? Ville Elinen's fine. Jordan Greenway. There was a guy I'm really expecting more from Jordan Greenway. I mean, he's a truck. He's a monster. He's one of the toughest guys in the universe, but I do expect a little bit more from him. Caden Kershak, uh, can't be horribly upset about it. He's, you know, he's a third pairing guy. He's playing 16 minutes a night. I'm not horribly upset by his production. He's very good defensively. I know he's a two-way defender, but he is just very solid defensively. It's not like he's that expensive. We go to tendies. I mean, Capo Kakinen is, is just not getting it done right now, man. You know, it's like he's just not looking good enough. And we got, I mean, Vasilevsky had one really rough game in there, but otherwise he has looked relatively decent. So anyway, I think Jordan Greenway is one of the guys that we would like to see get going a little bit better. Something tells me I did put him, but yeah, I did put him back on that second line, but I'm wondering if maybe he's got like, no, he's on that second power play unit. Um, he's on the four on four power play unit. I mean, I, I would like to get him a little bit more ice time. And now we'll see who we got net. Andre Vasilevsky going up against the Florida Panthers. And we're going to jump into this game right now after I tweak the sliders one last time to speed this game up just a little bit. All right, so here we go. We turn the game speed up a little bit more. We're going to simulate the first period, and then we're going to jump into this first game of the video where hopefully it goes a little bit faster than it did last time. First period is a 2-0 lead, and Pierre-Luc Dubois is on the damn board. Rylan Austin gets on the board as well. Oh my goodness, I love it, man. And now you guys get to see our sexy alternate jerseys, which, well, I don't, I'm trying to remember. Did you guys get to see them in the in the last episode? But I don't think you did. Anyway, we're, we're going to see. <laughs> we are going to see these sexy away jerseys for the Sioux Snow. All righty, folks, look at this. We are a substantially better team than Florida, so I do kind of get that we're beating them right now. We got Jermaine Trotter, Cody Glass, and Kylie Connor on that opening faceoff to start the second, and here we go. Let's see if we can get this game moving just a little bit quicker than the last one was. Where do we want to, you know what, we'll go back to Sergey, and we'll just dump that one deep, get Jermaine Trotter there. He's got wheels. He has like 93 speed. Oh, my goodness. All right. Back around behind the net, Cody Glass. Uh, let's get her back to the point. Yep, Provi. Back to Sergi. Just fired at the net. Nice one. Go for a rebound on that one. Another. Oh, that was off. That was off. That was off. Oh my God! No, Edgar Dalton. I saw his name earlier, and here he comes. Nice pass in front. Oh, tip. Nice stop by Andre Vasilevsky. Who's going to cover that one up? We don't want to go with that second unit just yet. We do want to clear our uh, defensive zone before we do anything like that. So, where are we going? 
Back around behind the net, Rylan Austin gets it on the other side. Where are we going? Cutting in front. What boom? Nice shot. Oh, oh, tip. Picked up the rebound on that one, and he was able to get that one out of the zone. And now Ty Smith and uh, K. Andre Miller with the puck. Nice easy save by Andre Vasilevsky. Dawson Mercer gets it behind his own net to Ty Smith. Get it up to Jordan Greenway on that third line, and he threw it away. Pokes it away. Ah, oh, Greenway, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. <laughs> All right, we got to finish getting the rest of that third line out there. We got it, Andre Miller. Get that across to your defensive partner, Ty Smith. Ty Smith gets that one up to Martin Cott. Martin Cott, whoop, drop feed. Oh, it hit a leg. And it's all the way back down towards the Sioux Snow zone. Korshak, just throw a low one on net, and that's no good. Greenway, oh, freaking Othman's no good. All right, here we go. Shea Shea, War and Peace. War and Peace comes in with a shot attempt. No, caught, got himself all caught up. And we're going to get that one back to Caden Korshak. He's going to sauce that one back to the point. Oh, up to Greenway. Let's get that fourth line out there, but Greenway's flying. I didn't realize he had wheels. Oh, yeah, because he doesn't. Uh, we're, Nah, get it around the net. Oh, Cameron Westgarth. The pass out to the point, gets it back, back to the point. Korshak, oh no, that was such a stupid play. I can't believe I just did that. Theodore, oh my god, he actually threw it away on a breakaway like an embezzle. <laughs> there's Shea Shea. Get it up to Westgarth, Cameron Westgarth. All right, low shot on net. That one's going to take a funky bounce, and Tate Lock is able to keep that one back in behind the net. Oh, what have you done? Jesus. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, coming back towards the Sault Ste. Marie snow zone. Caden Kershak giving Fogel a little bit of room. Let him shoot. Got to get that save percentage up. And let's get that top line out there. Where are you, my guy? Provorov. All right, so let's slow it down. Well, not that much. <laughs> you slow it down and stop being able to move. Kyle Connor with a nice feed up from his guy, Jermaine Trotter. Back around behind the net. He's following me. Oh, in front. Cody Glass. Whoop! Big shot. Oh, nice stop by Spencer Knight. Cool. All right, here we go. Provorov. No. Uh, uh, Trotter. Throw that one around behind the net. Where are we going? Oh, what a feed! Cross creaser. And Cody Glass puts in number five on the season. And it was assisted by Jermaine Trotter. And Kyle Connor. So Kyle Connor, I believe, it now has five points in seven games since joining the team. We got a lot of veterans on this team right now, man. And now that we're actually playing through the season, I feel like we have a better chance to come away with a really good record. I'm almost considering moving Dawson Mercer up to the top line, maybe getting rid of Kyle Connor. I don't know. Oh, that was a nice low shot on net. I think we have our second pairing. Oh, no, we didn't already have our second pairing out there. I saw Ty Smith, so I... Oh, no. That was bad. I figured we had I figured we had our entire, you know, sec, second defensive pairing out there. Ty Smith going to the box. That was my fault. Really stupid defensive skill stick that I was using right there. That's right. All right. So these guys are killing a penalty right now. So Jordan Greenway, whip it down the ice, and let's get some Tate Lock action going. Uh, he's not going to be able to beat anybody in a foot race, but was that Ellie Tolvanen? All right, here comes Sonny Milano down towards the Sault Ste. Marie snow zone. Milano with a shot off a skate. and sh Oh, no, what a giveaway. Sammy Reinhardt right in front. Nice play by Provorov. Don't take a penalty or nothing. Just knock the puck away from him. Stuck behind the net. They're wasting time. Oh, my God. Pro look at Shea. He's, like, glitched right out. He doesn't know how to play hockey anymore. Jesus. Oh, nice one again by Ivan Provorov. And we've almost got this killed, but this... This PK line is, like, dead to the world right now. We got it? There we go. Down the ice. And now it looks like the friggin' speed of this game is picked up. Ellie Tolvanen. Ellie Tolvanen. Nice shot. Easy save for Vazzy. He's going to play that one. And here comes Dawson Mercer. Dawson Mercer just looking for someone to go to. We're just going to whip her down deep. Oh, that one took a funky bounce. And PLD coming in deep. Oh, Tolvanen, you're a lucky man. You're lucky to be alive right now. Okay, Andre Miller, boom! Get out of town. Dawson Mercer again. Let's, you know what? Let's get that fourth line out there. We'll keep K. Andre Miller and everybody out there, but oh, look at this. Holy, the sea. Oh, the sea is parting. K. Andre Miller, he still got it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, what a move. Dude, K. Andre Miller just went end to end for no reason. <laughs> 
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get that number one defensive pairing out. The shots are twenty one to eleven. <laughs> And I think the funny thing is Florida actually hasn't done that bad in this in this period anyway. We must have, like, dramatically outdone them in the first. Over to Ville Elanen. Elanen down to Tate Locke. Now we'll just get it across to Sergachev. Little low shot on that. What a deflection, and it hit the post. Jesus. <laughs> All righty. So put 20 minutes back on the clock. As always, we attempt to finish this game. I just spent like 17 minutes looking for the thumbnail in this one. I had to go back real far and do a whole crap load of... Oh, my God. Wow. That was a quick uh, face-off. I was too busy too busy gabbing to get anything done. And here comes Edgar Dalton with an easy shot on Vasilevsky. Very quickly, actually, I wanted to see. So the shots are 21 to 12 in favor of Susan Marie. And we actually, okay, never mind. We outshot them 9 3 in the second period. I didn't realize it was like that extreme. So we got a 3 to nothing game for the Sault Ste. Marie Snow over the 25th place Florida Panthers. And next, we do have back to back. So we are going to simulate both of them. We are going to get Capo Kakinen in the net for one of them. Provi, get that one up to Jermaine Trotter. You know what? Toss her deep, and let's get Kylie Connor in there. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was way too easy. Third of the year for Kyle Connor. Dude, that was like the easiest goal ever. But they, the Florida Panthers, do not really have a goalie. They have, like, no defense. They have, like, no goaltender. So 4 nothing. I think it's pretty much time to start wasting time in this. Look at that. I just, like, they let me just, like, walk right into the middle. That was way too easy, man. Ivan Provorov, not overly, but we got, like, Mikhail Sergachev. <laughs> so Provorov, we're just waiting in front of our own net. Dawson Mercer, nice play. Gets it over to Pierre-Luc Dubois. Gets it up to Mercer, who lost it. Okay, I suppose it's time for Florida to absolutely take over this game. And that one went just wide of the net. PLD trying to stay in that center position. Jones, cross to Romanov. Dalton, oh, my goodness. That one took a funky bounce. Holy. All right. So that second line's been out for a minute now. <laughs> a minute or two anyway. Holy. It's 4 nothing for the Sault Sam Marie Snow. And we're finally four minutes into the third period getting our second defensive unit out there. Rylan Austin unable to keep it. It is all Florida right now. Turn around, Smitty. Where are we going? Nice saucer feed. Get that one up to Rylan Austin. Let's just carry that one deep and just throw it at the net. Whoa, that was funky. Okay, Andre Miller didn't take it with him. He let it go by him. Ty Smith all by his lonesome on defense. And Ellie Tolvanen can't get her going. And there's oh, Nick McGratton up to Greenway. Get moving, Greenway. Backhander. Now it's poke checked away. <laughs> oh, Greenway's getting angry. All right, hold on. Oh, it's Reinhardt, and he was already cutting that way. Where's the puck? Okay, Vazzy, make a big save, buddy. Back to Shea Theodore. Trying to get it out of our own zone. Get her up to Tate Lock. You know, I love him. He takes a hit, and there's Cameron Westgarth now on a breakaway. Cuts across, and it's in, baby. 5 nothing for Sault Ste. Marie. The handsome devil, Cameron Westgarth, putting in his second goal of the season. Look at that, too beautiful. They got to change their tendy, man. Florida, do yourselves a favor. Get rid of this guy. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, Tate Locke. Nice keep. And dump that one deep. What are we doing, baby? Bah! Oh, Ville Elanen couldn't hit him. Tate Locke. Boom! Oh, buddy's been killed. Get it? What? <laughs> That's not even who I passed to. West Girth. Man. All right. You know what? I know it's bad timing, but we're up 5 nothing, so I don't really give a care. Shea Shea Theodore. Boom! No, that didn't work. <gasps> Jermaine Trotter cuts in. He's got it. Gets it up to Kyle Ghana. Just a long shot on net. Jermaine Trotter gets it around behind. Back to Caden Korshak. I can't believe he held that. Whoa, and he still got it. Cody Glass, back to the point. Bad feed, bad feed, bad feed. Okay, it's like one-on-one. -on -one. I got a bunch of guys back. He's still going for it. Cody Glass, can he get there? Oh, off the bar. War and Peace, get out of here. There we go. We got her. Kyle Connor tossing that one deep. And I'm going to... Well, he let it go. He let it go. He let it go. So you let him go. Till it. I thought that was tip it. <laughs> I think they still do have O-tip, though. Here we go. Ivan Provorov. Ivan the Terrible. War and Peace. Nice shot. Nice stop. Provy, get there, buddy. 
And here comes Jermaine Trotter just whipping her down the ice as we get that top line off. The way he's acting, it's almost like TJ Brody's in that. Cameron Westgarth is going for his 50th career goal. Oh my goodness. So next time Cameron Westgarth gets a goal, we are going to have to pay attention to that, man. That's big number 50. Here's PLD. Can he get the face-off win? He cannot, but I think he's up against, like, Barkov or something. And that's a Jones. I don't know which one. Ty Smith. Ty Smith. Nice shot. Easy stop for Andre Vasilevsky. That was extreme. Oh, McGratton goes for the shot on that one. Caught. Gets her back. Back to the point. Oh, wow. No, no, no. Hey, can I select someone that actually with some goddamn consequence? Like, what are we doing here? Okay, Andre Miller. Hey, man, we took away some angles on him. We took away a couple little angles on him. It's not, it's it's like, it ain't no big thing. Whew. So I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this a little bit more now. We've, um, I, I, I upped the game speed a little bit. You know what I mean? Up the game speed, actually up the difficulty a tiny bit more. But I think, uh, I think honestly what it is, we're just facing a really bad team. What a save! Holy crap, I'm holy. And it's right in front. Are we going for a shutout for Vazzy? And is he going to get himself there? Oh my god, that save was redonkulous. And now I need a new goddamn thumbnail. What are you doing? All right, here we go. Bark. Nice. Nice play by Ty Smith. Let's go, let's go. Around the net, around the net. Get it across. 2K Andre Miller. We're in the final. Whoa, Jermaine Trotter. We are in the final 30 seconds of this one. Just get it at the net. Kill that clock. Oh, all right, 28 seconds to go. Vasilevsky has completely just made me need to get him a goddamn shot up in this game. Holy crap, here we go. Cody Glass, baby. Cody Glass, he wins the faceoff. Sergachev, big shot, nice stop. By Brody, the Florida goaltender. I can already feel my throat, my voice starting to die out on me a little bit here. Brennan Othman gets it to Kyle Connor. To Cody Glass. Whip her down the ice, and this one is over. Get board played. Kill that clock off, man. Beautiful 5 nothing victory over the Florida Panthers. And I will see you guys back at the menu. Oh, no, I won't, because I'm going to show you stats first. All right, so the shots were 32-24 to in favor of Sue Sam Marie. Now let's see who got these goals. I haven't seen it yet. So PLD by Rylan Austin and Dawson Mercer. Rylan Austin by Dawson Mercer and Mikhail Sergachev. Cody Glass by Kyle Connor and Jermaine Trotter. Kyle Connor by Jermaine Trotter and Ivan Provorov. And then Cameron Westgarth with his second goal, 49th of his career, assisted by my guy Tate Lock and Shea Theodore. Huge victory. All right, so here we go. We're right back at the menu where Andre Vasilevsky just had a gosh darn shutout, man. So what are we going to do? Anti Lidman, we're, hey, we're 3 2 and 2 now. We are going to switch out the goaltenders for the AHL and for the NHL. I want to look at Vasilevsky. Oh, five games, three wins, 924, 2.17 after that shutout. Beautiful, baby. Beautiful. I love it. Now, there was something I wanted to look at here. Uh, Jan Ozens. He doesn't have the greatest speed in the world, but he's a decent sniper. He's 22 years old. I'm almost thinking about maybe bringing him up. You know what I mean? We have like no cap space whatsoever. It's like, what if I was to just like toss him, get, give him like a, a fourth line role, maybe give him like second power play time or something like, let's just bring the kid up. Jan Ozens. I took him three years ago. In the second round, he's a great shooter. He's a true sniper. I mean, the guy can't skate to save his damn life, but... And then, like, who else do we have? We got, like, Christian Nolan. Do you imagine if I swapped out, like, Caden Korshak for Christ Christian Nolan, our 13th overall pick two years ago, just to see what he can do, you know what I mean? There is a... Like, if they... I think... You know what? If they grow by one, I'm thinking about doing it. So, oh, look at that. The Calgary Flames played on the 25th, got their first win of the season. So now we are going to simulate through this game and the Capitals game, and we are going to go up against the Arizona Coyotes. First period, 0-0. Second period, oof, down 2 to nothing. And in the third, it is a 4-2 loss. Cody Glass and Tate Lock 
both get the goals. So let's see who got the assists on those. Tate Locke by Martin Cotton, Ivan Provorov, and Cody Glass with his sixth goal of the year by Jermaine Trotter and Kyle Connor. Man. So, Robert Blomstrand, I'm going to say, head coach replaces player. Now let's go to edit lines. We're going to put Vasilevsky back in the net. And we are also going to put Jacuzzi back in the net. So, Vazzy, let's get her done in the simulation up against the Washington Capitals. I'm not a massive fan of back-to-backs, so let's see what we can accomplish here, baby. First period against the Washington Capitals. Jesus, you got to be joking. So, Jermaine Trotter and Dawson Mercer get the goals. Second period, 7-3. to three. Holy crap, man. Wow. Third period, 8-4. to four. Wow, what happened? <laughs> Holy Jesus. Jermaine Trotter assisted by Kyle Connor. Dawson Mercer by PLD and Ryland Austin. Dawson Mercer by Rylan Austin and PLD. Nick McGratton by Greenway and Sergachev. So that's the only problem here. You always run that risk when you are simulating games, especially when you're simulating multiple games in a row. So you know what I think we might do right now is... Oh, Vazzy, that really killed your numbers. Do I want to just put Capo Kakinen in for one more game right now? I don't know. No, you get... You got to leave Vazzy out there. Man, all right. All right. Here we go. So let's see what happens in the first period. <laughs> Against the Arizona Coyotes, because now Suzanne Marie is officially a 500 team again. First period, 1-0 Arizona. Let's see what we can do. All right, so here we go up against the powerhouse offensive team, the Arizona Coyotes. The Arizona Coyotes also happen to be a horrible defensive team, horrible goaltending. So the why we haven't scored yet is kind of beyond me. So here we go. Let's get that one back around the net. Ivan Provorov, Ivan the Terrible. Going to get that one up to Jermaine Trotter. Oh, snuck around his man. Ooh, Ninja Deeks. Trotter, big shot. That one goes way wide of the net. And here's Sergachev, nice and deep, but he takes a hit. And now he's just got to get back into defensive position. Here comes Cody Glass. No, he got cut off by his man. And Kyle Connor trying to get something done there. Josh Mahura, lose that thing. Oh, my God, I'm telling my guy to move, and he just won't. Here we go, Sergachev. Whoop. What just happened? Round the net to PLD, and he's not going to be able to get there, but can he murder this guy? <laughs> Absolutely. Turn back. Saucer feed over to the point. Provorov to K. Andre Miller. That one goes off a body. Here we go, baby. Getting in front. PLD. Oh, Dawson Mercer and PLD. We're having a wrestling match for who's the most useless player on this team right now. And there is Dylan Gunther. Oh, gets that one up to Ference. And here he comes, Thatcher Lewis, one of the guys that I created. <laughs> and it's blocked by K. Andre Miller. Oh my God, what did you do? Alexander Wenberg. <laughs> oh no. And just like that, it's two to nothing for Arizona. Oh, there you go. Greenway into the zone, stopping up. Fire that one around the net. Martin caught, able to get there. Jordan Greenway on the other side of the net. Oh, no. Well, might as well make it worth it. <laughs> he doesn't want to fight, though. Adam Gaudet coming down the ice. Gaudet, nice shot. Where's Vazzy? Where's Vazzy? He's having a hell of a time finding it. And it is indeed going to be a four-minute penalty for Jordan Greenway. We'll get that number one, number one unit out. Andre Vasilevsky, buddy. I can't have you absolutely falling apart in the simulation every night or you're going to have the worst numbers I've ever seen, man. That's the worst thing, too, eh? It's like the guy gets a shutout and he looks fantastic and then turns around and has, like, the worst performance of his entire career. <laughs> All right, here comes Wenberg to Alcock. Alcock into the zone. Caden Korshak to Wenberg, and that one's loose. Oh, yeah, get it out this way, Korshak. Wire it, buddy. There we go, right in front of the net, but no, Cot's not going to be able to get there nearly fast enough. Korshak actually got really pissy at the beginning of this one. I was like, Leon, Dr oh my God, straight up Leon Dreisaitl in it. Oh my goodness, there we go. Nice save. That was a very, uh, that was a redeeming save 
for Andre Vasilevsky. Nobody came with me in this one. So puck protect, puck protect, puck protect. Shea, 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 Shea. Korshak actually held it. Get that one back to Tate Lock. Cuts in. Ah, they took him off it, though. Provi gets that one back to Alcock. Nice shot. Nice stop by Vazzy. He's got to be approaching 20 shots against in this one. Ville Elinen gets it to Tate Lock in the zone. Just a little slapper. Oh, my God. It's in. Second goal of the season. And it is a shorthanded one for Tate Lock, you damn beauty. I would love to, at some point this year as well, do like an in-depth, comprehensive look at all of our draft picks that, uh, like, where they turned out, like Cameron Fye and stuff, you know what I mean? Look at a lot of those guys, where they ended up, how they did, and, and yeah, we're going to do, like, a big comprehensive record, um, franchise record book. We're going to look at that in great detail. So this is in lieu of a fourth-line shift. Ty Smith, toss her down the ice, and there's Tate Locke. Coming in for more, and there's Gallant. He's going to get that one out of his own zone. We have almost killed off this penalty. It is a four-minute penalty for Jordan Greenway. There's High Note in front. Thatcher Lewis. Tarasov can't get that one across. Beautiful defensive play. And Ville Elinen just going to dump that down one last time. Let's get to the bench, baby. Back that one off to the point. Oh, what? That's like three times in this game already. My God, you're like, hey, pass it to the right to that guy. And he's like, okay, I'm going to pass it in the dumbest direction possible. Kyle Connor gets that one around the boards to Jermaine Trotter. He's, get, he's about to get knocked by Thatcher Lewis. So that one in behind the net, Josh Mahura. There's Kylie Connor. Mahura, lose that thing. Buddy, let's go, let's go, let's go. No, Cody Glass, Thatcher Lewis, Jermaine Trotter. Woo, careful. There's Tarasov. Loses that one, and Sergachev is there, and he's got it. Let's get that second line out, second pairing out. Sergey throws that one wide of the net, and Dawson Mercer gets her back. Big saucer feed doesn't get through the mess of people, and here comes PLD. Boom! Knocked his man off it. Lift his stick. Take it away. There we go, baby. Just kind of toss that one back in the corner. Rylan Austin to Keandre Miller. Ty Smith looking for an opening. That one goes off the back of one of his own players. PLD. Oh, no. <laughs> it hit a leg and couldn't make it across the crease. We got to go with our third line now. Throw it around the boards. Wes Garth. He's not going to be able to get there in time. I might be able to beat this defender. There's no icing on the play. And Andy Sandberg <laughs> gets that one in his own zone. Oh, Tate Lock steals it away. Wes Garth still looking for goal number 50. Sophia... Sophias, I don't know if that's actually how you say his name, but I imagine it is. That's <laughs> how I read it anyway. All right, what do we got? Shea, Shea, Theodore. Sophias coming into the zone. Shea, Theodore watching his man. Oh, my God. And that was a nice poke check. Brett Leeson almost made her happen. Tate Locke. We're going to go with the second line to kill the period. I don't really know how much time they're going to have, but... Dawson Mercer right in front. Brett Leeson's going to get it out of his own zone. Sophia's knock him off it. Oh, Shea Shea. Come on, baby. Two, one, fire. <laughs> that one actually took a crazy bounce on net. I knew, like, it's not going to work, but I mean, <laughs> I still think it was kind of neato to kill the second period. So, here we go. Put 20 minutes back on the clock. As always, we start the third period down by one against the Arizona Coyotes, and no one on the Coyotes team wants to fight. Cody Glass, big face-off victory. Sergachev's going to get that one back to Provi Wovi. Up to Cody Glass, get in the zone. Just fired at the net, man. And Jermaine Trotter, over to Cody Glass, off the post! You gotta be, you're gotta you trying not to score there. That one gets across to Kyle Connor. Kyle Connor gets that one back to the point. Provorov across to Sergachev. Ooh, hoo, 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 big shot. That was not too bad. And Sammy Niku bringing it out of the Arizona zone up to high note. High note takes the shot. Nice stop by Andre Vasilevsky. Let's get that one. Whoa, Provi. That was full warp. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> Get her up to Cody Glass again. Cannot get it past. Oh, our man. But a beautiful stick lift. Jermaine Trotter can't get there. Back to the point. 
Get her deep. Round the net, and I can't select. Cody Glass! <laughs> oh, we're knocking him around real good right now. Jermaine Trotter, nope. Get that one back to the point. Throw it in front of the net. That one goes through the legs. We are 10 games into this season already. Ty Smith, Keandre Miller, get that one deep to Dawson Mercer. Over to PLD, and it doesn't make it to him. Damn, my sauce was off just a little tiny bit, man. Here comes Thatcher Lewis. Big play. Whoop, around the net. Ty Smith. Oh, big saucer feed up to Dawson Mercer, who has the worst puck control I've ever seen in my life. Okay, Andre Miller is about 10 miles out of position, but here we go, baby. Rylan Austin. He's been silent so far in this video. Rylan Austin gets that one back. We're going to throw that one around the boards. Up to Martin Cott. Up the boards again to K. Andre Miller. Nice cross, P, uh, cross piece. Cross pass. And Rylan Austin back to Ty Smith right in front of the net. Nice shot. And a big stop by Ilya Sorokin, baby. Nick McGrath and my guy. 13 minutes to go. Ilya Sorokin with 20 saves. Big face-off win by Nick McGrath. Back feed to Greenway. Across to Martin Cott. In front of the net. mcgrath has got no stick. Oh, but he got it back. Gets it across to Martin Cott. What a pass. What a goal. This game is tied, baby. Holy. <laughs> Marty Cott with his second goal of the season, man. Assisted by Nick McGratton with a huge takeaway. That's his third assist of the year. I think he has three goals, three assists now, six points in ten games. My goodness. So at the end of this episode, you're going to get a little better of an idea of where everyone's going to end up points-wise. When you're like five, six games into the season, Alcock, oh, I couldn't even hit him. Game would not allow it. Alcock gets it across, and that one just misses the net. Almost a, almost a scary play there, and oh, look at Cott. He is wide open down the ice. Oh, the ninja deeks, and he threw it away. Back to the point. Shea Theodore, little low shot on net. And Matty Dumba, you about to have a bad night again? Oh, Greenway was looking to take your face off. Let's get that fourth line out. Now that Cott is slowing everyone down. Adam Gaudet lose that thing. Tate Lock, he lost it too. Too many people. Too many folks in front of that net, man. So here we go. Andre Vasilevsky forward to, forced, forward, forced to cover that one up yet again. Get that one across, Kyle Connor. Can't get the shot, though. Gets it back to Jermaine Trotter. Cutting out in front, Kyle Connor. Can't get the shot. So that one back to Sergachev. Sergachev. Cutting in front where the screen is. What a damn shot by Mikhail Sergachev. As soon as you see a friggin' goalie screen like that, man. Everyone on earth was in front of the net right there. I saw that little bit of daylight. And Sergachev with a goddamn bullet. Look at this. Woof! The torque on the stick. It goes flying through a mess of bodies, and Ilya Sorokin had no chance on that one. My God, let's get above 500. <laughs> back to Austin. Oh, back to Dubois. Right in front. Can't get the shot off, though. Oh, he got it back. Back to Austin. In front to Dawson Mercer, who can't get the shot. My God. It is all Sue Snow right now. Nice shot. Raiden for... Whoa! <laughs> Tried to stick lift him. Nice work by PLD, who can't seem to hold it, though. All right, we got it. Oh, my God. Look at that second line. They're dead to the world. Sandberg lost that one. Now let's get that second defensive pairing out there as well. What do we got? Up to Jordan Greenway, my hero. Gets it across to McGratton. Greenway. No, he lost that one. Ty Smith coming in. Big long one across. Ty Smith gets it back. McGratton backhand feed to Jordan Greenway, who takes the hit and keeps on coming. Martin caught. Gets that one back to Ty Smith. Jesus. Okay, Andre Miller. Way wide of the net. All right, so back off, folks. Back off. Back off. Nick McGratton. Hentonen. Oh, McGratton stole it away from. Oh, then lost it. What are we doing? High note, that one hits a body on its way to the net, and here comes Keandre Miller, getting her across to Ty Smith, getting her across to Martin Cott, stopping up and just whipping that one towards the net. But the angle was too extreme, so with 2.25 to go, we are going fourth line, third pairing, up against their second line something or other. Dylan Gunther, oh, he kept it. All right, here we go. Shea Shea. 
Thatcher Lewis. Thatcher Lewis. That was a backhander to Oblivion. That one went nowhere. Ville Elanen gets it over to Cameron Westgarth, who's still looking for number 50. Backhander. That one hits Sammy Niku playing defense. And here comes the Arizona Coyotes. Caden Korshak playing defense. Watching his guy come in. Nice shot. Big save by Andre Vasilevsky, who again has looked real sharp in this game, man. We have been getting some monster Saves by the goaltenders here in this one. So here we go. Tate Lock, baby. Tate Lock cannot win the draw. West Garth back to Ville Elanen. Ville Elanen, what a stick by Ville Elanen. And that one, whatever, man, it got out. They got an empty net. Come on, Va let's get a goal for Vasilevsky. <laughs> no, I don't know if we're going to do that. Alcock, big shot, nice stop. Oh, what do we got? Tate Lock, turn around, buddy. And they got. Ger we also have Jermaine Trotter getting on the ice. I need a defenseman. God damn. Caden Kershak threw that one down the ice, but it was, that's going to be an icing. 100,000%. Oh, here comes Shea Shea. Gets that one across to Kylie Connor. Big shot. Ah, uh, I'm trying to... Sh I was trying to get up and shoot it, but he wouldn't. As soon as they lay down on it like that, it's like, yeah, you're done. Final puck drop of this game, and Cody Glass with the face-off victory. Big 3-2 win to put us up to 5-4-1, and one, man. And I will see you guys at the who, who did what screen. <laughs> so, we had Tate Locke getting his second of the year by Ville Elinen and Ivan Provorov. Then we had Martin Cott with his second of the year by Nicholas McGratton. And finally, Mikhail Sergachev with his second of the year by Kyle Connor and Jermaine Trotter. So I will see you guys back at home. All right, so here we are back at the main franchise menu screen after that nice 3-2 to two victory after two gross losses in a row. One with Capo Kakinen in the net, the other with uh, Andre Vasilevsky in the net. So now what we're going to do is we're going to simulate ahead through the Philadelphia game. They are 3-5-1. and one. We're going to continue on with Andre Vasilevsky get through this Philadelphia Flyers game, and then we will play the Colorado game, and that'll be the third and final game of the video, but we're going to get that back-to-back -back done. First period in this one, it's a 2-2 tie. Jordan Greenway and Rylan Austin. Second period, 4-2 for Sault Ste. Marie. It's Jordan Greenway again, and Cody flipping glass. Third period is a 4-2 victory with Andre Vasilevsky in the net. Greenway by West Garth and Locke. Rylan Austin by Mercer and Dubois, Cody Glass by Trotter and Provorov, and Greenway by K. Andre Miller, baby. So I got no beef with that whatsoever. Uh, I think we got to keep Vassy in for this next one again. So that means I don't even think we've seen Capo Kakin in this season in games we have actually jumped into. <laughs> So let's see where we stand right now. We're in a wild card spot along with the New York Islanders, but we're two points out. Of uh, third place in our division, we have played one more game than the Detroit Red Wings, though, so we're going to keep things exactly the way they are, except we are going to change up our minor league goaltenders because we are facing a weaker team, and here we flip and go, folks. Jermaine Trotter still leads this team with five goals, 10 assists, 15 points. All right, so took 10 minutes to get my voice back a little bit and made myself a brand new coffee. Now let's get into this one against the Colorado Avalanche and get through the first period. It is 1-0 Colorado. We are out shooting them 12-8 to in this one, so let's jump into this third and final game of the video where this one's for all the bacon. We are back at home with our sexy red jerseys on, showing Captain Jermaine Trotter. So here we go up against Austin Matthews, Nate McKinnon, and Miko Rantanen. I do not know who the Colorado Avalanche have got in net for this one, but Cody Glass with a big face-off win. Sergachev gets that one to Pro V Pro. Ah, it's not who I passed to, but we'll go with that. <laughs> oh my god, man. We're going out of our way again. Brr, Cody Glass pushing his man. 
We're just watching our guy right back in front of the net. Look at how we take the angles away. Bowen Byram, Nate McKinnon, big one T, and a huge save by Andre Vasilevsky. And Ivan Provorov was able to... Oh, my God. Sir, what, what are you doing? Imbecile. Let's go. <laughs> Jermaine Trotter in the zone. Coming in. Oh, turn back. Jesus. Everything that could go wrong, eh? All right, Sergachev. Get that one across to Provy. Provy, get that one deep to Kyle Connor across the other side of the net. And Cody Glass, nowhere to be found. Right in front, Mikhail Sergachev. But he's caught standing still. And there's Nate McKinnon. Let's get that second line on the ice. Provorov and Sergachev are playing freaking back and forth here. Look at Mercer. Can't take it. But he actually gets it back. And look at the wheels. Look at the wheels. Look at him go. Look at him go. Let him go. Look right up to PLD. Big D right into the center of the ice. Gets it back across at Rylan Austin. Good nasty with his man. Dawson Mercer can't throw the hit on uh, Nathan McKinnon. We are already almost five minutes into this period. We desperately need to get our next defensive pairing out there. So that's exactly what we're going to do. After tossing that puck around the net, Rylan Austin cuts back out in front. Oh, what a move. Uh, oh, my goodness. That was actually a really nice scoring chance. And there's Anderson going to get it out of his own zone. Ty Smith back playing defense. I don't know which Anderson this is. There's actually quite a few of them at this point in the National Hockey League. Again, taking away eyes. Nice play towards his own zone yet again. Look at him. Oh, the big man. Jordan Greenway. Now caught. Couldn't take it. Caught. Couldn't take it. A Finneganov, I think is what that said. <laughs> up to Ke'Andre Miller. Gets that one up to Jordan Greenway. My God, man. We're getting so bad for this. We can't seem to put a pass together today. Nobody's there. All right. So, oh, my goodness. Caden Kershak. Yep, they're both on the ice. Let's go. Oh, what are we doing? <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez, this is criminal. Oh, Caden Kershak. Oh, my goodness, man. I said before, man, the game does not want us to do well right now. It's like we're cursed. To not be able to put a damn pass together. Just toss her down the ice. Tate Locke's going to get there. And he's going to... Oh, my God. And he's fumbling it like an idiot, too. Theodore gets it to Caden Kershak. Get in front of that net. Low shot on net's no good. Cameron Westgarth with a big shot. Nice stop by the Colorado goaltender. Locke gets it back to Theodore. Oh, cuts back in front. Shea Shea puts that one wide. And Cameron Westgarth keeps that one. That one just bounces off the back of the net. And it's on a play by 100 miles, baby. What do we got? K. Andre Miller. Horrible pass. No, that was uh, Connor. Solovyov into the zone. Big shot. Nice stop. And he gets his own rebound because Sergachev couldn't get control of his stick. And my goodness, man. This is, uh, this is the type of team right now that's having a lot of trouble getting consistent wins, you know? We're the type of team that'll get a win or we'll get two wins in a row. And then it's like, boom, we'll lose two in a row. You know what I mean? So it's like, we're a very good team. Uh, I, fe I feel like it is all going to even out. I think we got to calm it down. I've said it a thousand times before. One of my absolute strengths in this game is not rushing, but actually slowing the game down. So here we go. Getting into the Colorado zone. Whip it around the net. Dawson Mercer's going to get there and not touch the puck for a hundred years. We got an opening. Provorov gets it back to Ke'Andre Miller. Gets that one across to Dawson Mercer with a big shot. And I don't know if that one hit the post or... Oh, back to no one, eh? We're just going to toss that one deep. And Nick McGratton, boom! The big man. The big ruck. Nick McGratton, look at him. Look at him giving her. Oh, he got around him. Nah, no one was open. Turn him back. Nick McGratton. Oh, and he takes, a, again, takes a little bit of a hit to make a play happen. We're going with that third pairing. We got to, we, we, I don't know. We got to go with that fourth line. As much as I don't want to right now, we got to go with the fourth line. Not a good matchup for us because it is uh, Colorado's top line. But here we go. Tate Locke, what can you do for me, baby? Nice victory back to Caden Kershak. Kershak, Westgarth. We're going to get that one a little deeper to Ville Elinen. Uh, over to Westgarth. Oh, still looking for goal number 50 in his career. Did not have the room to pull it off. And here comes Quinny Boy Hughes. Nice shot. Nice stop. Caden Kershak ties him up behind the net. And he's just going to kick that one around. And sure, Theodore goes for a hit. Whoa. And I think that's William Nylander. It's a Nylander. And I think it's Willie. All right. Here we go. 
Shea Shea up to Ville Elanen. Elanen just wire that one down the ice. No, that's no good. We could potentially get that top line out. Austin Matthews absolutely untake off the pocket ball and it's in and it's three to nothing, man. That's rough. That's rough, bro. <laughs> Dude, Colorado is kind of dummying us in this one. Man, we had someone, that's the problem, right? We had a guy screening the goaltender. Oh, here we go, Kyle Connor. We had a guy screening the goaltender, and as soon as I got near the net, he moved. Get that across to Jermaine Trotter, who puts it in and gets us on the board in the final 10 seconds of the second period, baby. So we're going to kill that second period with the third line second pairing, man. Oh, look at this. He's got wheels for days but I can't really see what that says. I think it says seven assists on the year. Whips it across to Jermaine Trotter, your captain, who puts in number six, baby. So let's kill this second period of play. Nice face-off win. Gets her back to Ty Smith. Ty Smith gets it around the net to nobody because that, or uh, Ke'Andre Miller gets it around the net to no one, and that is going to kill the second period of play in this one. Three to one, Colorado. So put 20 minutes back on the clock one last time as we just, oh, just let's make it respectable, you know. Colorado's got a pretty unbelievable team. Shots are relatively even. I believe they're 18 to 15 in favor of Sault Ste. Marie. We had like a barrage of offense near the end of the period there. Here we go. Cody Glass in the zone. Gets it across to Jermaine Trotter. Into the zone again. Big save by Vitek Vanacek. You want to go? <laughs> no, <laughs> buddy, don't want to go. Look at this. Austin Matthews lost number 34. Wow. So now uh, I believe our shots on goal are starting to build a little bit. We're starting to get a little bit higher than Colorado at this point. Cody Glass with a nice faceoff win back to Provi. And I'm just looking for someone to go to Jermaine Trotter. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch your sticks, bucko. Here we go. Back to the point. Sergachev throws it too far backwards because, of course, he did. And big shot. Oh, that one went over top of the net. Dawson Mercer lost it again. There we go. So we're going to get our second defensive pairing on the ice. K. Andre Miller got it. Gets it up to Rylan Austin. Back to PLD, but that one almost got stolen away. Use your wheels. PLD pokes it even further. Husey. Good. Oh, man, he's so slippery. He's so hard to to pin down and here comes austin matthews in the zone and he shoots and scores damn all right all right like i said uh, a little earlier on and i kind of stick with it right now we got to just make it respectable you know what i mean austin matthews at this point has got to be 35 years old <laughs> so let's just try and get another goal maybe even get a second another like two goals in this game mcgratton with a big face off loss and here's k andre miller Alexander Holtz, McGratton, what a steal, but I can't move. I'm, like, stuck in place. Turn around. Back to Miller. Back to McGratton. Here we go. Whoop, cuts in. Whoop, cuts in. Boom! Nicholas McGratton gets number four on the season to put us somewhat back in this damn game. <laughs> oh, man, he's got gray hair and everything. I have seen that far too often. In NHL 22, who was this? Yeah, Nick, that was Nick McGratton, yeah. Fourth of the year, puck on a string. I love it, baby. So 12-19 to go in this one. It was assisted by Keandre Miller, who has been a surprisingly excellent player for this team. Here's Kong. Gets around the net. Oh, I tripped over my own goaltender. Cameron Westgarth knocks his man around. Ville Elanen just trying to get back out in front. That was an absolute tragedy of a goal 5-2 Colorado there was nothing good about that what's his name Moises Kong what a name that's a wild name man <laughs> that's some that's some Hollywood shit right there all right here we go man Jermaine Trotter we got nine minutes to go in this game I need to get that number one defensive unit on the ice so let's whip it around the net Caden Korshak can go for it get it up the boards to Kylie Connor there you go, Trotsky. Wind and fire. Nice glove save. Oh, my God, he played it. Cody Glass getting back towards his own zone. But we're going to start controlling 
Mikhail Sergachev and Ivan Provorov. Get that one back around the other side of the net, and Sergachev gets it up to Cody Glass, who gets it up to Jermaine Trotter, who is absolutely cut off in every way. But there's Kylie Connor with those wheels. Where are we going with it? Nowhere. Trotter? Oh, Dubois, standing still. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, my. All right, let's get that second line out there. Jermaine Trotter is not going to be one of the ones who leaves, though. He's waiting behind the net. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice play by PLD, getting around behind the net again. He's spinning around. Oh, and he can't do anything with it. Jesus. Every time I try to go anywhere with this puck, it's like you just like blindly throw it away. You know what I mean? Huh, so we're almost at the point where, you know what? Actually, we're going to do it right now. Switch up that defensive pairing. Cut back up into the front. Get it across to Rylan Austin, who has been, again, absolutely invisible in this video. Turn back. Back to K. Andre Miller. Boom! That one goes off of Bowen Byram. Rylan Austin, big steal, big steal. Cut back out in front. No. Can't get away from our guy. Just a little shot on net. Ty Smith. Oh, he pokes it. But then the rest of your team gets in the way. They dump it back in again. They're just killing clock, man. So all they're trying to do right now is kill the clock. And they're kind of succeeding oh they got a four-man wall at the blue line but k andre miller who cannot get the shot off and this is never good we got austin matthews coming down again but nick mcgratton nice play get it around the net stole that one away from austin matthews bank it up the boards to martin cott oh come on keep going keep going keep going what a feed that doesn't make it through for whatever goddamn reason so what do we need now? We're going to need that third pairing relatively soon. And there's Nylander. Nice stop. Turn around. What are you doing? Holy, you're moving backwards, buddy. Jordan Greenway gets knocked off. It can't, can't go anywhere. Just a low shot on Ned, and that one's wide. What a feed up to Ville Elin and gets it across to Tate Locke, who can't control it. Why did I stop? Jesus. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Power play for the Sioux Snow. With 27 and a half seconds to go, it is Alexander Holtz, I'm pretty sure. Sure is. Oh, gets it across. Dawson Mercer, Rylan Austin. No, 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 no. Peak, damn it. All right, all right. We got like one more rush in us, man. Nice feed over to Keandre Miller. I... <laughs> That one doesn't make it through, and Peak is going to dump it again. Just whip it down the... What are you doing? <laughs> he stopped it, slapped it down, and then ran away from it. So that's a devastating loss against the Colorado Avalanche, man. So let's get to this menu. Let's see what it looked like. Shots 22 apiece. So Vasilevsky, horrid game. My goodness, what did the shots look like? Six apiece in the second period. Eight to four, Colorado in the third. And Trotter scored his sixth of the year by Kyle Connor. Nick McGratton got his fourth of the year by K. Andre Miller. And that's all she wrote. Big, nasty 5-2 loss for the Sioux Snow. So, now that we're back at the main menu, what we're going to do quickly is we are going to switch our goaltenders back. We're going to take Vasilevsky out of the net. He's actually been really bad lately. And we are also going to put Jacuizzi back in the net, who has been fantastic. There's a huge part of me that really wants to bring Jan Ozens up, man. Give him some special teams time. Like I said, if we're controlling it, I feel good, man. I feel good. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, so... I got Buddy in the net now. We can simulate on ahead to our next game. Uh, Robert Blomstrand. So I'm going to say best lines because I'm pretty sure that's what I hit anyway. So we're 6-5-1 and one in our first 12 games of the year. Now let's simulate the 13th game of the year. And in the next one, we should be going up against the Buffalo Sabres. It is 2-1 after 1. Greenway and Connor. Second period tied at 3. Jesus, past Tucker, Tynan, and in the third, tied at four, it's Jermaine Trotter. 
in overtime, nothing gets solved. And in a shootout, Jesus, we lose in a shootout. Leon Dreisaitl puts in the shootout winner. So the goals were Jordan Greenway with his third by Nick McGratton and Pierre-Luc Dubois. Kyle Connor by Pierre-Luc Dubois and Cody Glass. Dawson Mercer by Rylan Austin and Ty Smith. And then Jermaine Trotter by Nick McGratton and Jordan Greenway. And then in the shootout, Leon Dreisaitl with the San Jose Sharks winner. So we are, well, head coach replaces player. We are 6-5-2. and two. And now Ville Elinen is out until November 12th. What is the date? It's not going to show me the damn date. Who did we have scratched? Valery Zubov, who is a third-round pick of mine. He's got no wheels whatsoever. One million dollars. We also got Joseph Hamilton, who can fill it. Oh, he's so EAified. You know what? Here we go. Roster moves going to be Hamilton and Zubov are going down. All right. Hamilton, Zubov. You guys can go down. Ozens and Nolan can come up. There you go. There's two rookies that are likely going to get in some NHL action this year. So Jan Ozens, who is a center. Wow, there you go. It's not a bad one either. He does fit on that fourth line. But I don't know, man. How's Greenway doing these days? Six points, 13 games. I'm kind of fine with it. But Jan Ozens, I think you leave him on that fourth line. And I think what you do... Hmm, what do you do, man? I think you, you know what, put him here instead of Cody Glass. Cody Glass is playing monster minutes, man. So if I go back here, yeah, he's still playing 23 minutes a game. <laughs> so if we take Jan Ozens, give him just that tiny little bit of special teams time, I think he's probably, oh, no, he's not. Okay, three-man penalty kill? Nope. Four-man power play? Nope. Okay, perfect. Perfect. All right, what do we got? Glass, Trotter, Dubois, Connor, McGrath, and Mercer. Three on three. Extra attacker. Looks good to me, man. So then we got Capo Kakinen in the net, who we can also switch now, right? Yeah, we just lost to San Jose in the shootout. We can switch that back now. Back to edit lines. Uh, starting lineup and head coach preferred lines. Valeri Zubov, welcome back down to the minors. It's where you live. <laughs> All right. So let's just skip on ahead here to the eighth. So Jan Ozens is going to get into three games. He's going to get into the Buffalo game that we are going to be playing in the next episode. So that'll be his first career NHL game. Then he will be playing. Let's just take a quick peek. We'll try and figure out what we're, what we're going to kind of do in the next one, I think we're going to do Buffalo. We'll probably skip these two, do New Jersey, and then probably do Pittsburgh. So that's we're doing a lot of teams all right in the same little vicinity. And then we'll simulate the Detroit game and maybe the St. Louis game. And then in that next, next episode, we'll do like Montreal, Tampa, Carolina. That'd be a lot of fun. That'd be a really fun video. But in the next one, we're going up against the Buffalo Sabres. Yeah, we're going up against the Buffalo Sabres to start the next video. We're 6-5-2. and two. I did... Really hope we were going to be better than this. Uh, I do very quickly want to look at the draft board. I know we don't have like any picks at all this year. Yeah, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So we don't have uh, a first round pick this year. So if I want to go view the draft class, I'm going to go straight to the second round. You know what I mean? It's probably going to be like early second round. We got a left defenseman. High, high something. Terry McPherson. Quickness, team utilization. You never know, man. We could get this done fast enough. I like this guy, and I like this guy. We could get done this fast enough that we could have another draft. You know what I mean? We could start the next season. Look at this guy. This is as far as I'm going to get when it comes to looking ahead into the future. Ooh, Tiny Guerrero. What is going on here, baby? Two years out, Victor Hedman. I doubt it, but let's go with that. Sure. So there, we got four guys watch listed. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. This is going. Re this is really fun to do, and I feel like I'd be more apt to do this every week than to do the the entire season sim kind of thing. But anyway, let's take a peek first off at the team stats themselves. Right. So we are gonna go 
entire league and see where we stand. We are currently 21st in the NHL. Oof. <laughs> Goals four per game. We're getting 3.46. That's pretty good. 3.46 does not land us in the top eight. Ninth, 10th, 11th in the NHL in goal scored with 45 in 13 games. Goals against is way too high at 3.31. That doesn't get us anywhere near that side of the list. So it doesn't land us in the worst eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we're very middle of the pack when it comes to goals against. Uh, on the power play, again, nowhere near the top. There's the top eight. 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 20th on the power play in the National Hockey League. And on the penalty kill, I'd say we're... A little higher up, there's the top 8th. We got 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, Jesus, 17th, 18th, never mind. Home record is 4-4-0, and away record is 2-1-2. and We're 5-4-1 and in our last 10. Man, so let's take a very quick peek at our team stats here. Our points leaders, we got Jermaine Trotter with 7 goals, 10 assists this season. He's looking like he could have a, wow. What is the most goals he's ever scored? Is it like 22? <laughs> the most goals he has ever scored in a season is 22. Look at his, look at his stat numbers. How has this guy even stayed elite? How is he still our captain? <laughs> oh my God. He's like the best bad hockey player or the worst great hockey player <laughs> Rylan Austin having a great year, though, again. Look at Rylan Austin. He's been our team leader in points for, like, four straight years. He's not going to lead the team in points this year, but he's still fantastic, man. 26 years old, but career minus 22. Wow, 158 goals on his career. I would not be surprised in the slightest if this guy had another 30-goal season but had, like, a 40-assist season. Nice 70 points, maybe 70 plus points. You know what I mean? Cody Glass really tapered off. Considering he had a hat trick in the first game of the year, he has got seven points in his next 12 games. That's not nearly as good. Dubois, uh, what did he have? Four points in six. So he has six points in the next seven. That's pretty decent. Provy's been good. Nick McGratton, though, man. Look at this guy go to work. Nicholas McGratton. Nine points in 13 games. He's only playing 13 and a half minutes a night. Mercer has been a disappointment. I'm almost considering moving him. Maybe. Oh, look at his puck control. I thought it was like 91, not 81. Get out of here, man. That's so bad. You know what? Before this is over, I'm sorry, but I think I want to trade Dawson Mercer because like not as advertised, man. So what is he? He's a second liner. So I'm going to try and find... Hold on here. <laughs> oh, man. Well, first of all... Yeah, no, hold on. Um, what am I trying to do? Player search. My goodness. This might run a couple minutes long now, but player role, first line forward, sniper. We want, like, a legitimate sniper for this team. Connie Bedard. Go get him back. <laughs> Where's Dawson Mercer? Where are you, buddy? There's Kyle Connor. Kyle Connor. Uh oh wait, no, no, no. He's not a he's not a top line guy. He's a second line guy. That's right. That's right. That's right. Second line forward. Dawson Mercer's got to be up near the top. You know what I mean? So what do we got? Where's Mercer? See, he doesn't have the greatest value in the world, so we can look around this area. So what about like a Rocky Chung? He's a great shooter, but again, he doesn't have very good puck control or anything you imagine getting jason robertson now he's 32 i don't want a 32 year old man i want i want to get younger we're actually playing the games i want to get a little younger now nick robertson uh david finley 26 years old look at how little he is 5'8 172 point per game player high top six potential he's 87 overall good defensively pretty decent speed 
Oh, his puck control is even worse than Dawson Mercer. Never mind. What about like a Cole Caulfield? Now he's 30 again. Cameron McDonald, 25 years old, medium top six forward potential, 90 speed, 90 puck control. Wow. Is this the guy? He's got good poise, amazing puck control, seventh overall pick in 2024, six foot three, 217, relatively tough, terrible fighter. Well, he's got good. No, actually, he doesn't have good strength. He's not tough at all. Fits line one and the penalty kill. Can struggle with professionalism, but I don't care. Let's go for this guy. Cameron McDonald for, uh, what the hell's his name? <laughs> Dawson Mercer. So what if I was to trade away Dawson Mercer and we'd give up that Vandenbush guy with this Lutzer kit. Now I've given up so many prospects. Uh, what about Vladimir Jass? He is a third round pick a year ago. Um, oh, but he's decent. I like him as a prospect. What about uh, Colin Vandenbush, second round pick, power forward? Don't really feel like giving up him either. What do we got? Amir Archer, power forward. Maybe a little EAFI, low top six. Let's see if that'd work. Dawson Mercer and Amir Archer. What do we got? Let's see if we can add that. Nashville would be over the maximum salary cap. Oof. By like a bit. <laughs> um, what if I took a little bit of cap off you guys? Not too much, but a little bit of cap off you guys and then buried it. Like, what about this guy? What do we got here? Colton Lawrence. Power forward. He's terrible. 2.2. Hey, that'd work. I'll take that bad ca uh, contract off you. I'll bury it in the minors, and I will take Cameron McDonald. And I'll give you Dawson Mercer, who is way overpriced, trade rejected. I'm going to have to add a sweetener on top of that. Um, You know what? What if I tried to give you a fourth round pick this year to get this done? No way. Eh? I would give you the fourth round pick, and I'll give you the third next year or the year after. Because that's a total write-off. Trade accepted. We got rid of Dawson Mercer. I couldn't figure it out. I swore to God that guy had like 91 puck control or something. And it turned out I was wrong. He had... Uh... <laughs> oh, did he even come up? I don't think he did, eh? No, he's so he's in the minors. Okay. So I got to call him up. And who was the other guy? Lawrence. That's right. Okay. So C-Mac, get your butt up here. C Mac. What's his number? <laughs> All right. C to the Mac. C Mac 52. There you go. Oh, and he fits that second line. So good. And his cap hit, 4 million less. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's fast. He's amazing defensively. Great puck control. Wicked shot. What do you guys think? 50 goal scorer? So we switch them around? <laughs> no, Kylie Connor's kind of an unreal player, too. I don't want to take him off that top line. I could make like PLD work up there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or you get someone like a Nicholas McGratton who's kind of proving himself right now. Get a Nick McGratton up there or down here. Get a plus three, plus three. Or the plus three, plus three. And then put PLD down on that third line. I don't really want to do that either. I kind of like things the way they are. We're just going to stick it out, man. We're just going to stick with it. Uh, Cameron McDonald, what are we saying? C-Mac up on that. Number one power play, and he is not on the four-man power play, and he's not on the penalty kill. In extras, Cody Glass and Trotter, Dubois, Connor, McGratton, C-Mac. Then we got Glass, Trotter, Dubois, Rylan Austin, McGratton, Connor. It's fine by me. That's fine. I got no problem with that. C-Mac, look, look at the shot. What a monster. I love this guy. <laughs> All right, man. So we just made our, I, in my opinion, we just arguably made our team a lot better. We made our team younger. That is one of the most important things. Oh, so <laughs> that is going to do it for me for this one. I'll see you guys next Sunday where we're going to do it all over again. And we're going to be about, I don't know, 20, 21 games into the season. We're already approaching the quarter way mark of the season so I don't know, man. We could actually get through this a little quicker than I thought. Maybe I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, 
That is going to do it for me for this one. Hopefully we can start to put together some gosh darn wins with a little better chemistry. We're 6-5-2. and two. Let's, If we can get through like six or seven or eight games in the next video, if we get like five wins, I would be very happy with that. Anyway, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.